Good morning, friends. Happy Sabbath. It's nice to be with you in prayer. Today, as we pray, we're going to offer up a prayer about labeling and how it has an effect on our ability to love one another. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we gather in prayer this morning, we pray for ourselves and our neighbors in the world. We begin with prayers of thankfulness for all that we have received, for all the blessings in our lives. On this day, we give thanks for your presence as the Holy Spirit in our lives. Yesterday morning, as we prayed, we prayed for an end to stereotyping in our lives. Today, we pray about labeling. The processes are similar, but different. They both cause us to not recognize people as individuals in the world. Soren Kierkegaard said, once you label me, you negate me. Help us to realize that once we label something as good or bad or beautiful or ugly or smart or stupid, kind or unkind, it is difficult for us to be willing to change this label even when we're wrong. Friends, as we pray this morning, I want you to think about how your processes of labeling can lead to a lack of understanding about who someone is. I invite you to think about how that labeling process may have been applied to you. Lord, as we continue in prayer, we pray that you help us see how labeling can cause us to fail to love one another. We pray that we be guided to love. We pray that we be guided to see one another as individuals rather than as labels. You have said that the first commandment is that we love one another. We often try to define that on our own terms, but we know that you really meant love everyone, love one another. We just aren't as good at it as we should be, are we? Help us throw away those labels. Amen. Friends, our reading for this morning comes from the book of James, from the first chapter. Verse 26 is our starting point, and it continues through the second chapter, verse 4. If any think they are religious and do not bridle their tongues but deceive their hearts, their religion is worthless. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself unstained by the world. My brothers and sisters, do you with your acts of favoritism really believe in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ? For if a person with gold rings and in fine clothes comes into your assembly, and if a poor person in dirty clothes comes in, and if you take notice of the one wearing the fine clothes and say, have a seat here, please, while to the other one who is poor you say, stand there, or sit at my feet, have you not made distinctions among yourself and become judges with evil thoughts? Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I pray that you have a blessed and safe and relaxing Sabbath, spending time of consideration of how it is that you can better serve the Lord, loving God and loving your neighbor. Peace be with you all. Amen.